what's up peeps this is dark side here and welcome to another video on the channel where i'll be talking about a new dlc that will be coming into the game soon it will be in nasa and as you guys may already know this dlc will be releasing on november the 14th it's on Bandai Namco Studio, I'll leave a link to that in the description below of this video and if I can say a few stuff about this DLC real quick this DLC to me is really just a waste to be honest with you why I say that is because of the fact that out of all the characters you could have released in the game you released in NASA, another spammer we already have Endeavor, we have, we have Darby, we have Todoroki as fire spammers in the game already why did they release a fourth one? I don't really know and I don't understand why and really and truly it really has me wondering you know, like honestly and trust me like they could have done this really really better like they could have dropped in like Mina because Mina is still not in the game as yet and like they could have done so much better because Ashido could have been in the roster Mirio could have been in the roster right and it's just a huge race right here I don't know maybe it's just me probably you guys will like him but I know I won't because we already have a lot of spammers in the game and they're just making a lot of people uneasy and I can literally feel that because most of the time I'm playing spammers in this game like Endeavor or Todoroki or Darby they use super armored moves and then they spam the fire attacks like constantly they, they ain't even fighting just like this guy right now that I'm fighting all he's doing is spamming like endless amount of fire attacks and it can get old really quickly you see Right as I attack, it's a it's an armored fire move, right? Then he spams this shit again, then spams the fire attack. Like, it's just annoying at times, and I can get why a lot of people is dropping the game because of that, to be honest, because I was talking to a few people on Twitter, and they were saying that, yo, I dropped this game because I can't even land a hit on my enemies, and it's just that bad. Especially for the spammers in this game, like they constantly spam so that they can't even touch them And then again, they have a tendency to jump up in the air and start air attacks so that they can do their fire attacks in the air It's just that bad, yeah And I really, really hate people like that Oh, I find that I really dropped the ball with this shit Ah, uh, you can't move it, ah, uh, it's, it's support, but yeah Okay, nice. This guy is literally running on the walls. I'm done. But yeah, that's just all I have to say about this DLC, really. And it, it really... Really could have been better, though. I ain't gonna lie. Really could have been better. That's just... Me. Crap, okay. But yeah, that's really all I have to say for right now, peeps. So, if you guys enjoy the DLC when it comes, just let me know in the comment section below if you're hyped for it now, sir, or if you're not really all that hyped for him, because I don't really see the hype in this character, to be honest. If they dropped in someone like Mirio, Tagata, or they dropped in Ashido, where they could have dropped in any one of the big three characters, or Overhaul, or any of those guys, I would say yes. But for this DLC, it's just not looking good for me. So if you guys enjoyed it, comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter. Link to that will be in the description below. As well as the Bandai Namco Twitter page. Just in case you guys want reference if I'm telling the truth or not. So definitely check it out. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate that. And without further ado, this is Dark Side Gaming. Oh, peace, guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful game.